This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This is all about magma. Now, magma is an amazingly beautiful uh, material that is naturally found inside the Earth at different depths. It is molten rock, and this video is going to look at the characteristics of magma and how it links in directly to uh, forming different types of volcanoes and the eruption styles and everything to do with volcanology really begins with magma. So, magma. Let's look at magma as a material. Well, first, it is a liquid. And it's going to flow as a liquid. It's going to contain liquid components. And the different characteristics come from the behavior. The behavior of this fluid in different conditions. And that is derived from its component. So, magma's composition. First, we've got crystals. Crystals are the minerals in various solid shapes and habits. We have the melt, which is the liquid part, and these are mostly silicates. And the liquid part being the uh, liquid uh, silicon, which is SI, and oxygen. So these elements that are the most abundant in the crust and lithosphere. Then we have the dissolved gases. These are called volatiles, and these are mostly water vapor. We've got CO2, and we have some trace gases like some SO2, maybe some sulfur, maybe some chloride, maybe some fluoride as well. And these, well, these are the principal ones right here. Gases can range from 1% to 6% in terms of the weight of the magma, so that's the composition. So in terms of the melt, I mentioned there was silicon and oxygen in liquid form as the elements. Now this is Si and oxygen obviously is O. Now when they combine chemically, because oxygen is, is has a higher 34 uh, bonding with other elements and with these two being so abundant in the Earth's crust, around 75% generally is going to be silicon and oxygen they combine to make silica which is SiO2 which is called silica that's the basis but it also forms into into a tetrahedral or tetrahedron which is in the middle and the four oxygens all right like that so you have the one times silica and you have the four times oxygen so it's SiO4 in this shape of, of structure. So the role of this particular compound, which is silica, is to form a tetrahedral uh, chain, and this starts to combine within the magma, which is still in liquid form, and it starts to control the thickness and the ability for this material to flow. And this brings us on to a nice term called viscosity. And this is defined as the resistance to flow or move. A high viscosity means a thicker, slower liquid. A less viscosity uh, magma will be more quicker, more flowing uh, over, the, over a surface as lava. So viscosity really is a large component or characteristic of magma which is controlled by our trusty silica right here this is the earth science classroom thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the content uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you again